Well, hello there, Partson. Let's check out what's new with Wraith Binder. It's actually some big stuff. Really important. Aspects of the online character progression have now been started. Uh, namely, the, um, the online character progression is going to be something where you earn experience from every one of the battles that you fight all of your PvP battles and maybe even random encounters and uh, single player missions and things like that, but mostly PvP battles, right? So you gain experience, and then as you gain experience, you gain a levels. Um, and this is all in a meta, uh, in the meta game, right? There's also levels and experience inside the actual matches, but we're talking about a meta level here where after the matches, you gain experience and you gain levels that way as well. Um, so for every level that you go up, you gain some light points, and these light points you're able to invest in. We've got about 32 different stats that you can upgrade, and um, so you can. You've got all these things: hit points, your matter points, re regeneration for those things, stealing hit points, stealing matter points. We've got four different pages of other stuff too: your melee attack, range attack, explosive, defense. We've got some speed things like move speed, attack speed, speed abilities, uh, your shield ability, skybot ability, meditation, telekinesis, and we've also got some other fun stuff too like damage reflection, stun chance, and also chances to inflict elemental damage, so ice, fire, lightning, acid. Um, so you go ahead and you spend those light points. Um, and then uh, when you're done, you can commit those to your character. And that's kind of how your character will progress online. And here's the really cool thing about doing it this way with these light points is handicaps. So I was thinking at first, like I was like trying to think of ways that we could match players online, right? And keep it fair. And uh, I came up with some ideas. I thought maybe I'll do, I'll separate out all the PvP arenas. So there'll be like eight different PvP arenas, all for different levels of where you're at as a player right maybe you have a just one ability at that point and you can only play in the first pvp arena um and then as you gain abilities you go and you can fight in the other pvp arenas but the i, I started to realize that that's probably going to be a really bad idea for matching players online because players won't be able to uh, match with as many people that way they'll only be able to match with a small percentage of the people that are at their level so for especially when it comes to players at a really much higher level uh because they will be they won't be able to match with new players um so the solution to all this is basically just to allow light points to be something that is an overall indicator of how well you progress as a character and then use handicap light points before the match to upgrade your character so before each match what the what the matching system will do is it will find all the players, all eight players for the for this PvP battle. It will find the players top the top light points. So the player with the most light points, right? We'll find that player and basically give every other player a handicap that would equals them up to the light points of the highest player. So before the match, you'll get to be able to spend some handicap light points, which are just basically temporary light points to upgrade your character a little bit in whatever way you think is going to be beneficial for that match. Um, and at the end of the match, those temporary light points have, are, will have expired, and maybe you'll probably have gained some experience and gained some light points at that point that you can permanently apply to your character. But the whole point is these handicap light points allow the gameplay to be fair while you still have this awesome online progression where you can be really excited about what abilities you're going to be upgrading next and um, you see the results too like as you upgrade your shield ability this increases the duration of your shield which is pretty powerful think about it you're in battle your shield lasts for only one second you, you can only you have to time it just right to use your shield um, but as you gain more more light points in that shield you power it up all the way now you've got maybe up to two seconds your shield is active, which can really make a difference as, as when you're trying to block other players. So, and this applies to all these abilities. There's there's all these really cool upgrades you get. And um, so I'm still not quite finished with this screen right here where 
um, we've got the abilities being upgraded. The next thing I'm going to do is show the text um, of a little bit of a description of what that ability is doing. So, for example, shield, it'll say, instead of saying um, 16 right there with some brackets around it, it'll say, or, yeah, angle brackets, uh, it'll say shield, uh, like when we're all the way down at zero, it'll say shield one second duration or something like that. Maybe just shield one second. And then as you upgrade it, it goes shield 1.2 2 seconds, 1.5 seconds, 2 seconds. So like, uh, you know, as you're upgrading it, it's showing you what that stat is actually translates to in actual, um, you know, actual numbers in the game. And your hit points, for example, that's a really easy one to show. Hit points, you start off at 50, and as you increase, you go all the way up to maybe like 150. I forget what it is exactly, but that's a really easy one to show too. Um, so that's basically where we're at right now with um, this is a really big step towards towards the online multiplayer because this was a really the uh, the part of the game that uh, I wanted to capture the feeling of a single player game where you have this progression right as you play a single player game you level up your character you're growing and I want you to feel like that in this in this online environment in this multiplayer environment so I think this is going to be a really cool step and also I love how it keeps it fair so um, let me know your thoughts in the comments if you have any comments on this whole system this is really kind of the crux of Wraithbinder's online character progression here so let me know your thoughts um, that's it for this video and thanks a lot for watching alright person see ya